So if the ball comes in the rim at 43 degrees, okay, so let's say I'm here. The next time I do everything the same, but I release it just slightly higher, and it comes in at 44 degrees. Look at what happens to the basketball at the rim. It barely moves. Now at 45, 46, 47. There's a sweet spot in the mid 40s where I can actually have some variation in my launch angle in the trajectory and the ball still go almost the same distance. Okay? Soak that concept in. There's a sweet spot in the mid 40s where I can have the most variation but the shot still go the same depth in the basket. Okay? Now, here's a perfect example of that. See this player here has got a little bit of variation in the arc here, but look how tight it is at the rim. Now, many of you are shooting in the 50s, so let's take a quick look at that. And I'm going to show you here's why shooting the ball higher is not better. It's not going to, when you get above 45, there's a point of diminishing returns. Okay, here's what happens. Now at 53, I do everything exactly the same, and I release it just barely higher. Look at what happens at the rim. The ball moves three and a half inches. Now I go to 55, 56, 57. Look at what happens, okay? So, and this is with the exact same power and velocity on every shot. So just the slightest move up or down makes the ball spray from the front of the rim to the back of the rim. And those of you that's got an art plot in the 50s, take a look. It looks just like that, doesn't it? Okay, that's what happens. Now here's the thing I'll tell you about this. That I wanna just be real blunt and stress. If you're shooting the ball this high, you'll never reach your true potential as a shooter. Okay, no matter how many repetitions you get, no matter how much you work on your mechanics, all these type things, if you're shooting it this high, you're always gonna spray it from the front of the rim to the back of the rim. Okay, that's just the physics of a basketball shot, the physics of a trajectory. So you've gotta get it down in the mid 40s and that's where you're gonna make the most possible shots. Here's an example of this and I'll show you an after on this as well. This is a division one college player 54 degrees, look at that. Spread it from the front of the rim to the back of the rim. Okay, that's just what happens. I'll show you an after here in a second. So again, looking in the mid 40s, look how tight and consistent everything is. At 50, I can still do pretty well if I'm really consistent, but I'm not gonna make as many as I would at 45. But up here, forget about it, okay? I'm always gonna miss short long. I'm never gonna make as many shots as I should, okay? I like this because it's a top view of, uh, of all these trajectories as they intersect the rim. And you see, this is our guaranteed scoring zone we explained earlier. Look how neatly I can tuck everything inside that guaranteed scoring zone in the mid 40s. Over here, it starts to get tight. Over here, not a chance, okay? Now, just so you know, we've talked a lot about free throws. Everything we've talked about is just as important or more important when you get further away from the basket. So the same holds true for the three-point shot. Here's mid 40s, you see the distance control, depth control here. Here at 50, I'm starting to get spray. 55, same story, okay? Spray from front of the rim to the back of the rim, okay? Uh, take a look at your art plot again. I want to, this is a part of this Gonzaga study. And you see here in the mid 40s, again, is where I'm gonna make the most shots. So down here, if you got 35, and there's some of you that were shooting 35, 36, it's true that every degree that I raise my shot, my shooting percentage goes up. Here's the problem. Most people feel like that it just continues to go up even when I shoot in the 50s. But what happens when you get past 45, the things we just discussed, the loss of distance control starts to more than offset the gain in space. And you start missing short long and you, your percentage starts going the other direction. So again, those of you that are shooting in the 50s, you know, if you're up here 54, 55, 15, 20 percentage points, you can knock out immediately by lowering your arc, okay?